What's up, you guys? I want to give you guys the morning routine that I do that ultimately can save your life. It's not going to save your life as in like you're falling off a cliff into a pool of alligators or something like that, but it will save your life because it ultimately decreases your stress, which in the long term increases your longevity because stress is the number one killer of everybody. If we are overly stressed, a lot of bad things happen to us. This morning routine gives us natural energy, gets our dopamine levels high, and in the long run, in the flip side, it gets us to bed on the proper time as well. And I'll explain that in this video. This morning routine comes from Dr. Andrew Huberman. I tried this routine for a little over a month and my life completely changed. There are times where I don't follow through with some of these things and I feel it. So in this video, I'm gonna give you guys four of my morning routine activities that can completely change how your day and night go. Starting off, number one, the first thing you do when you wake up, you make a beeline for natural light. Being that natural light will help you with your circadian rhythm and get you to feel tired when you're supposed to be tired at nighttime and give you natural energy throughout the day. Do not grab your phone. I repeat, do not wake up and grab your phone and look at that light. Bad for you. No, no. Getting that natural light is extremely beneficial. That first one can be done very easily. So get that natural lighting in. The second thing that you should do is get eight to 12 ounces of water. Drinking this water will help flush out all the stuff that built up while you're sleeping. So get eight to 12 ounces of water. Now, Dr. Huberman suggests putting a tablespoon or a teaspoon of salt in your water. I have yet to try that, but I have done eight, 12 ounces of water before you eat anything. I like to actually have my water while I'm taking in 10 to 15 minutes of natural light when I first wake up. Number three, I'm not gonna lie, number three, is the hardest one for me and it probably will be for you as well you've heard about ice baths i'm not saying to go get an ice bath however i am saying start yourself off with a cold shower now now before you guys say like there's no way i love my hot showers do this for your first few cold showers because the goal is ultimately to get into a slight shiver you don't want to hop in the shower put it so cold and get out where you're barely able to move some of you guys are very sensitive to cold water if you guys are terrified of taking a cold shower which many of us including myself have been then this is what you do you turn on the hot shower you get it kind of steamy in there and then before you hop in you turn it down to cold you you get ready, you brace yourself, get yourself fired up as if you're about to run a marathon. And then you hop in and you take in that cold shower. You get it running all over you. You start getting shivering. Try to go count yourself to like 30 seconds, preferably a minute, but a minute is hard. You'll see once you try it. Try to get yourself to 30 seconds. And then from there, you can warm it up a little bit after that. Okay, that's your starting point for your cold shower. And you can progress later on, but that is what I would recommend to get your starting point figured out. And don't be afraid, cold showers, you guys can do it try it please try it and then this fourth one will help you with your energy levels throughout the day number four if you guys are coffee drinkers and chances are if you're over 30 you probably are a coffee drinker if you guys are a coffee drinker or have some sort of caffeine wait 60 to 90 minutes before you have any caffeine this will give you your natural energy levels up in the very beginning the caffeine will be more effective for the rest of the day and you will not end up with a crash period later on if you have your caffeine too soon Soon, there's a good chance you're gonna hit near the end of the day or middle of your day where you have to have another cup of coffee or you get that crash. If you go 60 to 90 minutes without caffeine and then you have your coffee, you're gonna have much more sustainable energy to last you through the whole day. That way, if you don't have to have that second cup of coffee, which would not throw off your sleep later on, and in turn, when you woke up in the morning, you had that natural light, your circadian rhythm was clicking. When it goes to bedtime, you can actually fall asleep. And do not stare at your phone before bed. Put these things, put them away. Okay, I know you guys, everyone already knows this. Everyone already knows this. We just have to follow through. If you want to live a healthy and happy lifestyle, these little things you have to change. Try this four step process for your morning routine. I guarantee you, you will feel better. If you have questions about health and fitness and you want to exercise, you want to get healthy, you want to have, have some questions about nutrition, let me know. I want to help you out. I love trying these things out myself and seeing how good I feel at the end and sharing, sharing them with you in the long run because I want you guys to feel what I feel. I want you guys to play with your kids and have energy to play with your kids. Not go home and be like, I don't want to do this right now. You want to go home and you want to play. You want to be a good husband, a good mom a good father, a good whatever you are when you get home. Be the best you can by doing these little changes. Make these sacrifices to make yourself better all around. 
Rock on, everybody. You got this. <laughs> Cold showers. Do it. You got it.